Good evening, everyone. As you can see from the clock here, it's 1900 hours here in Toronto. And I thought I'd do a follow up on the ETM scan, ETM plus scan I did with the PL330 the other day and just try another one at a better time of night for uh, shortwave. And as we can see, as we start out, the radio receiver, the PL330, is set for, uh, this is the Canadian time signal from Ottawa, which is coming in nice and strongly. I'm using my MLA 30 plus antenna, which is set up, it's actually mounted on a wall on my uh, roof deck outside here, in an orientation which is optimized for keeping electrical interference from my townhouse here and my neighbors under control as much as possible, as opposed to for signal strength. And that means that it's actually effectively pointed sort of south, southeast, something like that. Anyway, so let's get this into ETM mode. All right, there we are in ETM mode. And now let's, uh, let's give it a scan. So, uh, and I'll also, in the background, open up the computer here, turn on the computer, and get shortwave info up, just in case we want to look up any channels that I might find that I don't recognize. I should say, compared to noon, which is more or less when I did it the last time, we should find much more. Most of the activity should be probably below 10 megahertz, so 10,000 kilohertz on this radio, so we should be seeing that. We will see FM breakthrough on this particular receiver with the external antenna in, you know, below 3,000 kilohertz, you know, in that sort of range at the lower end of the dial. Uh, but you'll see that it's finding a lot of potential signals. We won't probably find nearly that many that are worth listening, but too, but unlike at noon, we should find a number of quite strong and quite listenable uh, shortwave signals. So hopefully there'll be a little bit more, uh, more of interest to listen to tonight. If we do find any ham band activity, which we might, um, we'll probably just skip over that this evening. We might, might do a, uh, do a video on, uh, looking for ham activity with the PL330. Oddly enough, I tend to use the Sanjian 909X2, which a lot of people complain about for uh, sideband performance, but I find the fact that it doesn't mute when you tune around makes it far more entertaining for that purpose than, than this radio, at least for me. But uh, there's no question that in terms of performance, the PL330 is excellent as a single sideband receiver. So we're almost through here. Uh, looking at my timer on the camera, it takes, I think it takes about a minute, maybe a minute and a half to get through these. Since this is in real time, you can tell on the video how long it took. So let's see here where we are. 2290, that's going to be FM breakthrough, as that is, as is that. That's a real signal. So let's see what that is. So that's WRMI Legends coming from Okeechobee, so from Florida. That should be rebroadcast on upper frequencies as well. Perfectly understandable. So there's the US time signal from Colorado. That's at 5,000, if you don't know this, is at 5,000, 10,000, and 15,000. Not sure what that is. Yeah, this could be one of a couple of things, but my guess is this is probably um, Radio Rebelde in Spanish from Batista, Cuba. 
that's the most likely source of that. A lot of interference. They are in contact with God. If the tool is in theory, and how they practice this method, they can contact with this original God. So this is WRMI. Shut off the amplifier for the computer so it stops beeping. That's WRMI. Uh, again, from Obi Kenobi and Obi Kenobi, Ochi Chobi in uh, in Florida. This is Radio Slovakia International, rebroadcast by a WRMI again from Florida. They rebroadcast a number of uh, interesting European and other stations, so it is worth checking it out, even though you'll often find it's mainly evangelicals and whatnot. But sometimes there's uh, something more interesting down here, too. We look at the word safely. Oh. There's a reward. Oops. I'm sorry, I just knocked the camera. Let's get that straightened again. So this is WWCR Nashville, for, well, Nashville, we'll also hear a bunch from them. This is almost entirely religious broadcasting. Yes, we see that. We see the spiritual flaws. How many of us can say to one another... And this is also WRMI from uh, Florida. And you'll see that the signal quality on these is quite good. I think this is just spillover from I'm not sure what this is. I would have thought it was just spillover, but it's not. Um, is it German? Anyway, I'm not sure what that is. It isn't obviously, it's saying it's China Radio 1, but it's not, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that's not what it is. Anyway, I'm not sure what that is. That's very weak. This is probably China Radio International, which usually does broadcast on 5990, but this is being rebroadcast from, um, from Cuba. As you see, the, uh, the signal strength is pretty good. And the signal to noise is pretty good on that. This is Radio Habana from Cuba. This is their main broadcast signal. It sometimes has a very strong carrier and a very weak signal on it, which seems to be the case tonight. I understand that they have some technical difficulties with uh, maintaining some of their equipment or something like that. There's been discussion of that online. Oh. Interestingly, there's usually as a radio Marti, Marty, um, in, uh, signal at 6030, but I don't see it there tonight. And this is CFRX Toronto, so this is broadcast about 50 kilometers. It's not actually broadcast in the city at all, it's broadcast a bit to the north. And it's not strong and not aimed towards us, but as I said in my earlier 
uh, scan than the last one. This is local, to me anyway, uh, and shortwave. That sound like there's something there. I can't hear it though. Can we see what that might be? Kunyang? Radio China? Who knows? Not sure. Yeah, if you have a very weak signal, sometimes you can look it up. This is WCR from Nashville. Uh, WWC, I mean WWCR Nashville. Yeah, usually, usually um, religious broadcasting. This is uh, WBCQ um, from Monticello, Maine. This tends to be weaker than the more southerly signals. There is something in there. Yeah, so this is probably XE. PPM, our education in Spanish from Mexico City. This is usually a fairly weak contact here in Toronto, but sometimes you get the atmosphere conditions are right and it comes in quite strong. So that's fun. I am not coming in very well tonight. That's a bit too weak for me to make. Well, you know what that is. So we're now into the hand bands, and this is single side band, which is why it sounds so odd. I won't try to bring it in now. So this is China Radio International. I don't know which signal it is. This could be coming from Beijing, or it could be coming from Yermiki uh, in Uyghur. I'm not sure with this signal I could tell the languages apart, but obviously other people can. does sound, you can hear the, the flutter in there, that does indicate that it's coming from a long way away. This is, let me see. Hmm, I'm not sure. I appear to have lost my connection to my website. Alternative one that sometimes uses shortwaveschedule.com. That also works pretty well. They're using the same data. I'll put a link to these two websites. And so this is Radio Romania International, which is what I thought it was, which is why I paused here. Coming in weekly now may come in stronger later on in the evening. Well, Eh, eh, 
llevándole flores a sus gustos, eh, entregándole eh, eh, panfletos y... Well, they, obviously there's some update issues. This is, this shortwave schedule.com says that this is China Radio International in Chinese. It's not, this is probably a radio marketing inst instance. Uh, because uh, they do tend to move around a bit, presumably to, uh, to get around Cuban jamming. Or are they just covering so much bandwidth here? Well, this is this is something different. Wait, so what are we back here? Let's go back. Let me just have a look. Yeah, this is Radio Marte. These are both. So here, what we have is this circumstance: is that the signal is strong and across so much bandwidth, it's appearing. 5 kilohertz apart. Now we could change the AM bandwidth on the radio. If we drop that down to 3.5, then we don't hear it here anymore. Okay? As we narrow the bandwidth of the radio, we get less. But I'm a fairly firm believer on this radio anyway, in keeping it wide open. 7490. That's WBCQ, uh, which is from Monticello. We looked at this, we listened to this before. This is w, uh, WWCR, the overcomer from Nashville. You'll notice that so far, apart from earlier, the early lower part of the band of the radio band, where there was a lot of um, FM breakthrough, but pretty well everything up here has had a live station on it. I think so here as well. Let's just see. But I can't really make that out. Nothing there. Alright, so now we've gone up, and this is uh, CBCQ, this is also for Monticello in Maine, and this is in Portuguese. But he said before us, is that fighting the fight of faith? God will put you, I guarantee you, if you're his, this is WRMI, um, again from Florida, one of their broadcasts. Now, listen, you can hear that this is farther away. This is China Radio International in Mongolian, according to the uh, schedule here. And this is coming from the Xianyang transmitter. That's, I think, near Beijing, but I'm not positive. But again, right, you can hear in the characteristic sound of it that that's reasonable. Because we have the sound of a faraway shortwave station. And we should be getting into, as you can hear, the, the uh, interference has increased a bit. This is also supposedly Voice of China. And this is from the Shijiazhuang uh, transmitter site. I don't know. And now I'm not sure if I can remember which one is at which location. Yeah, this does sound like it's in Chinese. Yeah, 
And so now we have Radio Marti, broadcast from Greenville, Greenville and coming in like local AM radio. That's very weak, whatever it is. Let's see. This is also supposed to be China Radio International from a different transmitter site yet again. I'm not sure. Wouldn't count that as reception. Or that. Well, we get to see if there was. Well, this is supposed to be uh, Radio Habana from Cuba. It's very weak. might hear some music in there. Okay, so this is the European broadcasters that I was expecting to hear more of. Uh, this is Radio Exterior de España from Nola Jazz in uh, Spain. This often comes in very well here in Toronto. And there's the uh, 10 megahertz time signal from Colorado. Don't expect to hear much up here. So this is the same thing. This actually... This is Radio Nacional de Amazonia in Portuguese from Brazil, from Brasilia. This is, for whatever reason, often a very strong signal in the evening here in Toronto. So this is uh, Radio Habana, Cuba. Um, in Spanish, again, from, from Cuba, <laughs> obviously, I guess. So this is, again, Radio Exterior de España. They usually have two broadcasts. This one is in Portuguese, which I think I could hear. I'm talking to them, talking about their Portuguese and Spanish broadcasts just be before. That does sound like a different broadcast, I think. So this is supposed to be Voice of America in Chinese from Xinjiang transmitter site. in the Philippines. So that's pretty good. I don't know what this is. Um, I would guess it's probably more Cuban broadcasting because they sometimes broadcast on this frequency, but I'm not seeing this right away. I'm not sure what this is. This could be um, I'm not sure. It could either be uh, China Radio International again. That seems most likely, given that the other likely broadcasting frequency is only one kilowatt.
I, mean, I don't know if that's anything. Here we are. This is. Yeah, I'm not sure what this is. Is this English? It's possible this is BBC being broadcast from Singapore, but... But this is a frequency that's used primarily by the BBC from several different transmitter locations. It says Kanji at the moment, which is just off Singapore. So we could play around with, as I did before, we could try putting it on sync. And you can sync it to either the upper or lower side band. Oh, you know what I have done here? Let's get back. And you can just do some fine tuning here to see if you can make it work better. But I'm not a huge fan of of uh, really that. You can change the AM bandwidth, of course. That sometimes helps a little bit. But I usually find chopping off the high frequencies makes it less understandable, so I don't know. This is supposed to be CRI, so China Radio International from Beijing. If it appears to be an excellent night, so I may be spending more time on shortwave later on. This would be the uh, 15 megahertz time signal, but I'm not hearing it now. It may have been in, and it's been almost half an hour since. Okay, there we go. So it's there. I don't, I was going to say, I don't anticipate any of this stuff to be active, but there we go. That's WRMI once again from Florida. And that's it. So there we go. So that, so the difference in time gives you some idea of the difference in content and the amount of information that was available, the number of stations that were live on the air. Looking at my camera recording, it's been about 28 minutes, and we spent all that time doing the scan and then looking through the stations that were available. At noon the other day, that took, I don't know, 10 minutes, 12 minutes, something like that. So that just gives you an idea of the, you know, the amount of number of channels that are still live if you listen at the right time of day. And if you're a beginning shortwave listener, Picking the right time of day is going to be important, and I think that, at least at this time of year, around 7 o'clock um, is a pretty good time for those of us in North America. Because as you can see, we're getting some of the, still getting in some of the upper frequency stuff that's coming in mostly from the east, yet I'm also picking up the lower frequency stuff that does better at night from the west, from Europe and North Amer other North American locations. So I hope, as usual, that that was in interesting. And I think I might do a series of these scans, again, always using the Texan, always using the PL, I'm sorry, the MLA30 plus antenna set up in the standard way, just to give you some idea of how uh, what you hear changes depending on the time of day. And I hope that's helpful to some people. Anyhow, good night.